Hi guys, so I just installed Windows 11 ARM on my Android and seriously, it's running super fast. I have been exploring it and I found it not just cool but also quite useful. Here as you can see the processor is Snapdragon 845 and version is Windows 11. Now you might be wondering how is this even possible to install Windows on Android phone, right? It's all thanks to an amazing project called Renegade. In this video, I will show you how I installed Windows 11 on my phone without PC only using TWRP. But first keep in mind that not all Android phones support native Windows 11. To check if your phone is compatible, head over to Renegade project website. Here you will see a section view supported devices. It has many devices listed, you can check your phone here. Also if you are a Poco F1 user like me, follow along the exact step I will demonstrate later. For other devices, you can adopt the method based on their guide. They provided a detailed guide on how to install Windows on your Android. Now before we begin, here is what you will need. First, make sure your phone has an unlocked bootloader. Second, a custom recovery installed. And most importantly, a working brain. Don't skip any step, just follow along if you are a Poco F1 user. Uh, now enough intro, let's start with the big question. What is Windows 11 ARM and what's working on my Windows and what's not? First, let's talk about ARM. It's a type of processor found in most smartphones and tablets. Just like Snapdragon 845 or Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 8 Gen 2. ARM processor built for efficiency, offering low power consumption and solid performance. Now Windows 11 ARM is a version of Windows. It is similar to the regular Windows but optimized for the ARM architecture, making it possible to run on the certain Android devices like my Poco F1. So here is what is working. Audio, battery status, Bluetooth, brightness, Wi-Fi, everything is working smoothly. The only things uh, not working are camera and fingerprint. By the way, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It took a lot of time and effort to make this content, and your support means a lot. Now let's jump into the installation part. First, let me confirm which device I'm using. Uh, so let me open settings. So as you can see, this is Poco F1 running on the uh, old school Android version Android 10. Alright, you need to download two files from the description box. I have already got them. The first file is the ESD file, which is just the Windows uh, image file. The second is the installer script. Big thanks to Kumar JY on GitHub for this awesome script. The best part? The script is a one-click process. Once both the file downloaded, copy both files to your SD card or pen drive whatever you have. Make sure to place them in a folder named as WOA. This is important for the installer to work. Now it's time to boot the device into the recovery mode. So let me quickly boot it up. Alright, the first step is to take a backup of few important partition. This is crucial so tap on backup and select the partition. You can also backup the entire system if you prefer. But the important ones are boot, data, modem, EFS and persist. Make sure to save the backup in a safe place, uh, like your PC or pen drive, not in the phone storage because we will be formatting it later. Once the backup is complete, click on mount and then unmount all the partitions that are already selected. Once done, go to home and then advanced option. Click on terminal. Now we need to type a command to create a partition. Now in the terminal, uh, we need to enter partition and then the size for the windows installation. Let's go with the 60 GB. And then hit enter. Now if it asks you to run the command again, just go ahead and do it. You will see that the user data will be allocated 59 GB. Just type Y and go ahead. Wait a few seconds for the process to complete. And once it's done, you will see operation completed successfully on the phone. And yes, process is completed. Now go back and then tap on install. At this point, you might not be able to access your device storage. That is why we ask you to use a pen drive or SD card. Let me quickly connect mine and then uh, we can move forward. Alright, here is the OTG option. Click on it. Inside you will see WA folder which we created earlier. Here is the Poco F1 installer script. Just tap on it and then simply swipe to flash it. It's easy as that. Now this process takes around 5 to 6 minutes to flash successfully. Once it's done, you will see a message flash successful on the screen. So just be patient and let it be complete. Alright, flashing is successful. Now simply click on the reboot system to boot the phone into the Windows setup. 
and guys just a head up the first boot might take a quite longer than usual that's completely normal so no need to worry and yes we have successfully booted into the window setup screen you can use the touch screen to navigate and set up the window the setup process is uh, just like the setting up windows on a laptop so let me quickly set it up for you finally we are booted into the windows environment and it's look great everything is working properly just explore it to yourself and find the best from it and also guys i recommend you to try this window installation only if you have a backup phone as there is a small risk of breaking your device also if you guys want a video on setting up dual boot windows and android just let me know in the comment i will try to make it for you and that's it we have successfully installed windows 11 on my android phone if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel it really helped me out let me know in the comment if you have any question or want me to cover dual booting or any other projects thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one this is jarvis signing off